Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Mighty here. I'm doing all right so far. Still enjoying my day off and had plenty of rest. And um, here's a funny story that WWE came to Louisville less than 24 hours ago. And maybe the piece of that information that informs me that, which I completely forgot about that, and which I forgot to buy myself a ticket to go downtown to see the superstars there. And to say it at least that I was tad too late for that because the tickets were already sold out. And I could imagine at the Yum Center was completely packed and it would be pointless to drive all the way down just to find one seat when it's already full and try to leave the building early just to avoid all the traffic, you know, being stuck in the middle of it and honking the horns, go eh, eh, all that crap. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I was pretty bummed about that. So... The moral to the story of this is plan ahead and be prepared before the final day and that you would be all set and that you would be able to be entertained and mostly having fun at the same time. So I'm not sure exactly when they're going to come back here again, but I imagine it's going to be for forever to say about like three to four months or so. But that's life for you. Anyways, uh, while I was playing Hunt Down on stream uh, earlier, Shadow just came by and just informed me that uh, there is a new trailer called Army of Thieves that just came out. And at that time, I didn't quite fully understood what that's supposed to be about. And he did say that, that it was meant to be as a prequel. So once I ended the stream, I did get a chance to look it up. And lo and behold, in that it is a prequel to Army of the Dead. Okay, that that makes sense. So that means that, that there won't be any plans of a sequel yet ish. But I don't get me wrong, I did like the movie. It was good. That was Zack Snyder's very first zombie movie. That was pretty decent. And uh well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh what a good twist at the end that uh good things goes to bad things, but then again. That's fake as for you. <laughs> well, I will be reacting of the teaser trailer, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And uh, if you're new to this channel, all you have to do is click and subscribe, and you get notification from yours truly, the Reaction Man for reaction, gaming, music, streaming, and anime. And if you have any requested videos that you want me to react, I'll be more than happy to do so for the sake of entertainment. But most of all, this is me just doing my best to bring the entertainment just for you guys. And of course, I do have my own Twitter account and also Instagram. So let's go ahead and take a look, and time to react. Ludwig Dieter, we've been watching Hey! And we want to recruit you. I always did like them all the way through the end of the first movie. The outbreak in America. The one turning people into flesh and monsters. Yeah. Yes, I heard something about it. Pretty much. That's distracted. This window of opportunity isn't just our only chance, it's yours. I recognize her. One chance for what? Hey! <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we have guns, we have guns. Yes, there will be guns, as they say. Have guns, will travel. I don't know why he screams so much. This is about becoming legends. Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. <laughs> I suppose... A lot of the questions that concerns of a a job that basically that has to do with um, try to crack the to the safe of it, isn't it? And still uncomfortable with guns around because it's just I suppose too much distraction, I guess. But anyways, nice tease. So this is Army of Thieves. And not only that Zack is producing of this, which is that he 
did direct the, of the first movie. But I also understand the same actor who's reprising his role as Luwick, which is Matthias, which I can't pronounce his last name, but he is producing and directing of this movie. So an actor, producer, and director, that's pretty much of a multitasking, if you ask me. And I also recognize that actress, the, the blonde-haired chick, um... I believe her name is Ruby O'Fee. The same actress from the other movie I did watch was Polar. And speaking of which, I'm curious to know if there's any plans on making a sequel because I'm curious to know what happens next to the to the Black Kaiser. But anyways, so based on the trailer, which is treated to be as a prequel that's which is that that ties to it, which is not all the way to the beginning, but this was this is during to of uh, the outbreak, which is the the patient zero that was broke free and begun to spread the infection. Okay, it makes sense because while everyone is simply focusing on the outbreak, which is that this is an opportunity that, that uh, with no distractions, no hesitation, or anyone that's, you know, to say that, that uh, leaving their bank to be not guarded, this is an opportunity for Ludwig to have his reputation to, to crack open. So this is basically a romantic comedy zombie film which is there's less of of uh, gore, but more of uh, thrills and humors in the mix of it. Looks pretty interesting. So, unfortunately, that there there is no confirm of the release date of it, but it is going to be coming out in fall. So hopefully that that we will get a second trailer that has more into it of exactly what's the deal of the story so far. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It's definitely funny, and it's nice to see Ludwig. So there's that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I hope everybody's in the same boat as I am. Shadow, thank you for mentioning of this, uh, which I didn't quite get it at, at that time, but uh, I did get a chance to look it up. So... I think that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say for this one. Uh, it looks pretty cool, and nah, nah. I don't think I. I, I don't think the, you know, cracking the safe is not my putwa. It's just that I suck at it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and call it in the night, and um, I, you know, I, I was being being serious about the, uh, you know. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Revelation, please don't, don't watch it. It's, it's not, it's, it's not good. If you are a, a, a hardcore He-Man fan that grew up from the 80s, please don't. Because it's not all cracked up as it, as it's promising of the trailer. So, I'm just... I'm just doing you a, a favor, buddy. So I'm just letting you know that. Anyways, that's going to be all for now. So I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. But hit that like button if you are excited for this movie. And also leave a comment down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. So take care, guys. And as usual, there are more requests on the way. And especially there are some new ones that I will be working on tomorrow. So... Have a good night, good morning, and most of all, be blessed. Mighty signing out.